Welcome to the Let's Discuss of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. This is Ron Moore, along with the Wee Guy, the J-Man, and the Purple. Yeah. The same people, huh? Yeah. Besides, <laughs> if we did all the past recordings in one night. Yeah, huh. <laughs> all right, I epilogue. I don't the um, the, the Titan exploded there. It was like just cracking open an egg. Yeah. And this ending's kind of lame here. Was this a, pretty much the same ending in an arcade game, too? Exactly. Yeah, the ending could have been better, but oh well. But anyway, might as well go ahead and discuss the game as we see this short ending. As we are congratulated. Congrats. At least they spelled it right. Yeah, yeah. It's so, Konami. Yeah. Um, <laughs> TMNT 2 for the NES. Very fun game, of course, not as fun as the arcade game, but I mean, you know, that's the arcade game. Um, it was still awesome to play back in the day because and I remember J Man telling this story, you know, how, how you said when you first got this game when you were a kid, oh man, I got the arcade game for the NES, wow. And then you play it and you're like, this don't look like the arcade. <laughs> and of course, back then as kids, we didn't understand the specs and the lim limited uh, ability of the NES. But I mean, it was still fun to play back in the day, especially with two players. Uh, very challenging game, just like in the arcade. And of course, the soundtrack is good. And I mean, in graphics, though, of course, not like the arcade, still pretty good in the NES. And it's Ninja Turtles. It's fun, much better than the first one for the NES. And yeah, so I mean, it j it's just a. This is honestly what Part One should have been, anyway. Not that part one was a horrible game. I like part one, you know, okay. But part two, much better, of course. And, yeah, so this game was definitely fun to play back in the day, especially if you're a Turtle fan. And I like how Pizza Hut was uh, endorsing this game and the Pizza Hut promotion, I think, on the cover box, something like that. Um, yeah, so this game was epic and very fun to play. Even to this day, it's still fun to, to go back and play and yeah, the ending could have been better though, uh, and I know it's the same ending as the arcade. They could have done a better job with the ending, but with that said, I mean it's probably the only bad thing really about the game. Um, so I'm about, I'm about to give this game an eight out of ten. Some good memories. Uh, just really played this a lot when I was a kid, and so this is one of those games you really want to play over a friend's house when you didn't have it. So, yeah, and so this game is ECW. We give it an eight out of ten. Uh, we got. Yeah, all right. Wait for that game over to go away. Go, away, it's not game over. Game <laughs> over, no. That's just game over. <laughs> yeah, but um, oh, I don't have as much, you know, memories with this game as you guys probably had. But of course, I like this game a lot. It's a really good beat 'em up. Of course, I I don't. Yeah, I've seen the arcade. I never played it. Of course, uh, of course. You know, I'm sure the arcade's better, but whatever. Uh, I like this version because it's NES, it's 8-bit, it's got a great soundtrack. I I know, J-Man. <laughs> what did I say? You said you said something. I heard it. It's Yo, sneaking in a little. It's sneaking in a little something. Okay. <laughs> You'd like but, that. But uh, uh, oh, 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 well. Hold on. I like to I like to finish this. Watch, you know, I don't have much more to say because I mean. What can you say? It's the turtles. It's definitely like, definitely what, I guess part one should have been, beat them up and, you know, just good old classic fun. I like it. I'd give the game a seven out of ten. All right, cool, cool. All right, J man. Now um, I want to add on the uh, getting this game as a youngster. Of course, uh, young kids that may have played the arcade game and then got the uh, the arcade port, as it should be noted, um, expected the same arcade thing. You know, we didn't understand 8-bit or 16-bit back then. And, yes, I, I got this for my 12th birthday, and, oh, my God, I got the arcade game because it was called the arcade game. But then got it and, of course, played it. Disappointed, whatever. Played it anyways, because back then, you didn't have uh, emulators or a plethora of the entire NES library, so you played what you got. And thoroughly 
it was still an enjoyable game. And um, I can say one of the two extra stages um, was enjoyable, the House of Shogun. That uh, third level, nah, no good. Yeah. Um, but you did get a uh, free personal pan pizza um, with, the, uh, <laughs> with the game when you bought it. So I guess, yeah, that was pretty cool as a kid. Overall, eh, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Really, uh, if you want the full experience, just, you know, get a main emulator and play the actual arcade game. If you haven't played it already or seen the multiple videos on YouTube, go for it. Yeah, definitely. Do it. But also play this one just because it's it's good. It's still, it's still good. Yeah, I don't play this one. Yeah, yeah. Listen to the soundtrack, A-Bit Stereo. I mean, yeah, okay, it's good. Listen to the A-Bit Stereo, I guess. But if you're going to do that, listen to the original arcade music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I love the Take boss power music. Yeah, boss power music is pretty good, but it's better than the okay. arcade, of course. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, for 8-bit NES, you know, it's still, still a good soundtrack. Not bad. Check out We Guys 8-Bit Stereo, Shameless Plug. Ooh, it's never shameless. And um, does anyone have any thoughts on uh, uh, Turtle 3, the uh, Manhattan Project? Uh, isn't that going to be done soon next or something? Or is uh, that going to... Maybe. <laughs> uh Oh. Right, so, yeah, but uh, how about we get Purple's thoughts on this game? Oh, well, um, I'm sure there are, you know, not very many girls will be watching this, but if, you know, you're like me and you like to watch your boyfriend play video games and stuff like that, it was actually pretty enjoyable to watch. Um, I never once got bored. There's, there's a lot going on at one time, so it keeps me interested. The music was awesome, too. So um, I liked it, but I'm not going to give it any stars or anything, because my opinion doesn't really count. <laughs> any so, stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One star power. One star. <laughs> One star or make the black turn white. <laughs> wait, anyway. And uh, juice, the juice for good measure. Get and... in the kitchen. Oh, wait, I go in the kitchen. Okay. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Just like the commentary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, we guy. You're welcome, <laughs> yeah. J-Man. And that is it. We are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. J-Man. We guy. God bless. Take care. Ginger. Go get the pan pizza.